Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because it's the intro to the Graveyard Project Pan. I am so happy that we are doing round two. We did this project last year. About a year and a half ago, I had this idea of tackling the products in our project graveyard. So products that were in projects before that you just didn't meet your goal on. And I gathered a group of ladies and we kind of hashed out details, went back and forth to create the project that we are starting today. We did last year, of course. So while I came up with the original idea, I don't take full credit for this project because it really did morph and change to include a lot more panners. So if you're interested in this project, you are of course free to join. I will have the master list down below, but you will have to contact me for me to add you onto the master list, whether you want to do this on Instagram or on YouTube, everybody is welcome. As of today, we are kicking off this project with 41 participants who have already contacted me. So be sure to check that spreadsheet so you can go binge watch a bunch of videos and also search the hashtag Graveyard Project Pan for tons of panning content. Like I said, I'm really excited for this project, but first I'm going to kind of explain the project to you. So this is a six month long project ending on Halloween, October 31st. You can choose the amount of products you want. I said five to 10. A lot of people seem to be doing five, six products, but it's completely up to you. Of course, it depends on how many projects you're already doing or how many products you have available in the two categories for this project, which are resurrection items. Those are the products that are in your project graveyard. So you're resurrecting them from the graveyard to try and work on again and meet your goal on. My intention with this prompt and like the beginnings of this project were the really hard items to pan. I'm thinking blushes, um, sometimes highlighters, eyeshadows, lipstick, like something for me, it was something that I had a really hard time panning before, which was why I was not successful previously. And the second product category is collecting cobwebs. And these are products that are close to expiration, or maybe they're just really neglected in your collection. I personally have an equal amount of both categories in my project, but you can choose all of one. I I purposely made this a pretty laid back project. I feel like I'm a pretty laid back project panner and we and most of us are already doing so many projects. I want this to be really low key. We are updating this project every other month. Again, that kind of goes back to products that are harder to show progress on every single month. It also just fits better in with a lot of our panning schedules in terms of updates which is why we collectively voted on every other month. So there will be updates on June 30th and August 31st and the finale on October 31st. And this is a rolling project. I think that was all the details I had to share with you. So, oh, and I will have the playlist linked down below. I will have the 2019 playlist and I will also be starting a 2020 playlist. Both will be linked down there. So it's really easy for you to binge watch everybody that is participating in this project. And again, you're more than welcome to join. Just let me know. You can DM me on Instagram or comment down below and I'll be sure to add you to the list so everyone else can find you as well. That was a really long intro. I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to make sure I got all of the information out there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with my resurrection items. As I mentioned, I have six products in this project right now. I feel like my lighting is really warm toned. And I'm not really sure how to fix that. So hopefully my footage doesn't look really strange. Anyways, 
Starting off, I'm going to attempt again to pan the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is the half ounce size. Smashbox is really weird with their primers where if you buy the half ounce size, it's actually cheaper per ounce to buy the smaller ones than it is to buy the full one ounce sizes. So you can buy two of this size for cheaper than one of the bigger size, if that makes sense. Anyways. I did have this in a roulette pan collab, I believe, and was not able to finish it. That will be my goal, is to finish off this primer. It's one of the oldest ones in my collection, and I am not working on a pore minimizing primer in any of my other projects, and it is a step in my makeup that I do most days because I do have enlarged pores. We are starting right below the silver line here, but it is getting a little thin. I will insert um, some close-ups so you can see right we are where we are starting, but yes, my goal will be to finish this and I will be tracking my uses and all of that. Secondly, my L'Oreal True Match Powder. Now this could be a mistake because I'm working on quite a few powders right now. However, this product is still lingering from my 18 in 2018 project where I did successfully hit pan on it. Quite significant pan and my goal in this project over the next six months will be to finish this off completely. This has been lingering in my collection with a ton of use on it for way too long. I don't know what my problem is with finishing off products but this would be great to remove from my inventory and it's also not cruelty free so I will be so happy if I can finish this off over the next few months. I'm not sure how fast this is going to go. It is quite old, so I imagine it's going to be quite powdery, but I have not reached for this in such a long time, so I'm not really sure. We'll just have to see how quickly I can expand the pan on this. And my last Resurrection product, I'm bringing this back Again, this was in my graveyard project pan last year and still was not successful on it. That is the Model Co. Blush in Peach Bellini. This was also, sorry I'm blinding you, this was also in my 18 and 2018 project. I thought I could finish off a blush, no problem. That was my first project pan. And then I put this in the graveyard project last year as well. So I had an additional six months to use it and still no pan. But there is such a huge slope. It's not really a dip in the middle, but it's sloping down. Again, I'm hoping that you're able to see this the way I can see it. I feel like I can do it. This is a great summertime blush. I say that as it's snowing where I live. It's almost May. Give it a break. Gosh. This is a great summertime blush. This project blows right through the summer into the fall. I'm hoping, praying to the panning gods that I will have pan in this. So yes, my goal on this will be to hit pan, please. Now I have three Collecting Cobwebs products. These are all three very old in my collection, not necessarily close to expiration, although, I mean, if we're going by the jar on the back, most of my makeup collection is close to expiration, but they are definitely being neglected. And so I want to get some use out of them. The first is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now this is the smaller size. However, I have had this for over a year and a half because I bought this to wear on my wedding day, which was in October of 2018. This has a six month shelf life according to the jar and it's obviously way past that. I can't really determine where this is, but this is a spray that I never reach for because it's one of those products that I'm waiting for a special occasion. I'm a mom of three. There are not enough special occasions to get this used up before it goes bad. I just, I just need to use it. 
my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Smoke and Whistles. I bought this highlighter so, so long ago and it is one of my favorites. I need a lighter highlight to be panning right now anyways. I'm panning one other one that's a bit darker. I mean, I'm wearing it today, but this is a creamier product that should be getting use on it and it is getting quite old and I haven't reached for it that much recently. So my goal on this will be to hit pan. With my Super Shock products, I try really hard to use um, you know, the whole surface of it. Super Shock products are really easy to hit pan on if you just press your finger in there a little roughly. You could probably hit pan in a couple of uses, but I'm really going to try and use this product as evenly as I can and hit pan on this. And lastly, I recently discovered that this brand is not cruelty free and I really thought that they were. Um, this is Kevin Aquan and yes, I kept the little cute velvet pouch because this is a very luxury, expensive product and I rarely used it. Yes, used as in past tense. I bought this because everyone was in a contour craze and this was, you know, the most recommended product, of course, the super expensive one and I thought I needed it. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light and there is barely a disruption on the press pattern of this product. And I must have had this for three or four years. I'm hoping this isn't too hard to hit pan on. I don't contour that much. I don't feel like I need to contour. I, it's kind of weird to like, I don't know if you can tell by my face shape, but I have very high cheekbones and a narrow jaw. So I feel like my face automatically just kind of goes in. You know what I mean? So I won't be using this that heavily. We'll just see what we can do. My goal on this will be to hit pan on it, but I will just be happy if I'm reaching for this on a semi-consistent basis. So those are the six products that I'm bringing in to this project. I'm not sure if I will have any empties for the first update because like I said, I typically bring in harder products to work on. The setting spray might be in two months time depending on how much I reach for it and potentially pan on this highlighter. Again, it obviously depends on how much I reach for it and I would love for this powder to be at the point that it needs to be repressed. Um, I think that's a doable goal especially considering all of the other powders that I'm working on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys will join in on this project pan. It's a ton of fun. There's a ton of supportive women all collaborating together. I'm going to stop rambling because I just feel like I need to talk to more humans besides my little humans and my husband. Quarantine is making me crazy. That's it for me today. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.